The second half of tonight's concert is a tale of opposites, of summer and winter, of soft impressionism and startling modernism. We begin with Debussy and his Prelude à la Prémédie d'un Faune. He wrote it in the 1890s in response to an erotic and sultry poem by Mallarmé, which describes the innermost thoughts of a fawn deep in the forest on a hot summer's afternoon. The fawn is inflamed by the presence of some shy nymphs who run away from him, leaving behind a scarf with which the fawn drapes himself. Debussy's music famously inspired the choreographer Nijinsky to create one of the iconic roles of his career. So here now is Valery Gergier to conduct the London Symphony Orchestra in Debussy's Prelude à la Prémédie d'un Fond.
the closing bars of Debussy's Prelude à l'après-midi d'Alphonne, the erotic and impressionistic picture which was once described as a new musical definition of the unconscious. Valery Gergiev conducting the London Symphony Orchestra. The principal flute playing that solo, the sound of the horns panpipes at the very start, was Lorna McGee. Debussy creates such extraordinary patterns of shifting orchestral colour in that work, and like all of the music in tonight's programme, in its own way, it was revolutionary. The final work in tonight's concert is Stravinsky's seminal ballet score, The Rite of Spring, also known by its French title, Le Sacre du Printemps. It was written nearly a century ago, but it is still able to conjure a sense of violence and danger with an orchestra on the edge of control. These days, The Rite of Spring is heard more often in the concert hall, but we shouldn't forget the narrative of the original ballet, which is brutal and uncomfortable. It takes place at the end of the harsh Russian winter, and in order to summon the god of spring, a group of pagan elders watches while a young girl dances herself to death. Valery Gergiev again. Well, it's simply important to remember for artists who perform that this is a huge piece of theatre. It's a big world of theatre. So the rehearsals are basically helping us not to discuss technicalities, but, if I may say so, to provoke theatrical thinking. The philosophy of performance has to be full of imagination, which comes from theater and goes back to the theater. So to be on a concert platform and to, in a way, imitate or create the atmosphere where even public feels that they're just dancing or they're just wonderful costumes in front of us, or there is this wonderful nature awakening, you know. So, yeah, it takes some time to rehearse, but also I will be most probably charged with this vision, theatre, rather than how bassoon or how trumpet or how trombone should, you know, behave, technically speaking. You know. 